Hello, this is my first video in a series of videos designed to help you learn Java. So, let's begin. First of all, if you don't already have a Java compiler, you're going to need to get one. And there are plenty of different Java compilers on the internet. For example, there's Eclipse. You can just Google that. Um, Eclipse is really great, but I think it's best for college students or people more experienced with programming. But you can check it out anyway. It's uh, compatible with both Windows and a Mac and Linux, so that's really great. Just be sure to download the one for Java developers, not the Enterprise Edition. Another great one, but this one's only compatible with Windows, is JCreator. It's really easy to use, it's free, and uh, one of my favorites. But the one I'm going to be using is called BlueJ. You can also Google that. It's uh, uh, compatible with both Windows and a Mac, so that's really great. And uh, really easy to use, great for beginners. So, uh, in BlueJ we're going to have to create a new class. I'm just going to call this one first, but you can call it whatever you want. Uh, just bear in mind that the class names are case sensitive. Double click on that. Um, I'm just going to clear all that up because we're going to be starting from scratch. Work class. Alright, uh, well these two lines are basically common on almost all Java programs except for like apps and applets, stuff like that. Um, but uh, basically for now you, just, you should just memorize these two lines. They're common Java syntax. And uh, basically what we named our class first with a capital F we have to name, uh, have the same name right here. And uh, public side void you're going to uh, get all of that over time, but uh, void basically tells your program that you're not going to be returning anything, and that'll make more sense later as you as we get into more depth. Uh, main is basically telling your program to start, it starts your program, so just a basic thing. And uh, string args is allows your program to have arguments. So for now, I just say memorize these two lines; they're very common. You're going to use them a lot, but uh. I'll get into more depth as we move on. Next is system.out.print and system is basically part of all Java programs and the system.out basically allows your program to display things to the screen, uh, messages, numbers, things like that. Uh, that's basically what it does and the print function <coughs> basically allows it to actually print, you know, a message that you want to display to the screen, for instance. We're just going to say hello. And uh, just be sure to put whatever you want to display to the screen, your string or message, in uh, two quotation marks. You have to have one on the outside, one on the inside. I mean, one on the outside. One at the beginning and one at the end. And your message is in the inside. Uh, that's basically part of Java syntax, you know, where you're string is and uh, when it starts, where it ends. And uh, we have a semicolon at the end at the line to tell your program that this is the end of the end of this argument, end of this line, part of Java syntax. Uh, just something you have to have. And uh, I'll get into more depth on that also. And two closing brackets because of the two opening brackets we had, also part of Java syntax. Used to keep your program in order uh, and uh, keep everything aligned. Uh, then you compile. No errors. Go back over here. And let's click OK. And there it is. Uh, I displayed Hello twice because I already had a... Uh, I already ran it once just to make sure it worked. And, um, but yeah, it displays Hello when you run it. And that's it. Just a basic Java program. Just want to get the basics out of the way. I'll get more in depth as I go on. This is just the very first one, so I just wanted to see how well I do on this first one. But uh, I'll go in more depth. If you have any questions, just ask. And also, don't forget to visit world.com. There's a lot of great computer science and 
other subjects and just a really great to uh, tool for school and learning programming and things like that. And like I said, if you have any questions, just ask. But this is just the first video, so you know, I'm just trying to see how well things are going to go. And I'll do much better on the next ones. That's it. Thanks.